the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and more importantly, <sighs> is that a Highland Park? It is, and it's from? Kate and Jane! No, Cat. 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 It's just the Titans. <laughs> I just saw the, it. He put a plus sign here after Cat. Yeah. It looks like a little E. No, they, they did. They did. Well, then it's your fault. Can't <laughs> Daniel Wait, in the distance. You do you hear that? I hear it. Hover, 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 hover. This is gonna pretty sped, pretty, pretty sped up at this point, I imagine. Cat Rajne and Shane Jeffcoat. Cheers, you magnificent bastards. Okay, this is a special edition called Kirkwall Single Cask Series. 11 years old. Okay. Oh. Sherry cask. I'm getting, you say sherry, I would mm -hmm. be expecting a fruit. I'm getting a butterscotch on that nose. Only uh, less than 600 mm. bottles came from this. Nice. 64.5% alcohol. Ooh. Yeah. R now. Robust. You getting that butterscotch? I am, but it's a butterscotch surrounded by jam. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the top, layering, top mm -hmm. layering is butterscotch. You keep going back and digging. And the fruitiness from the sherry starts to show up. And then there's that earthy, musty mix of sherry That's, and peat. Yeah, the Highland, not the Highland, I'm sorry, the Highland Park mm -hmm. uh, peatiness, uh, yeah, starts to creep out from behind what are going to be some sweeter flavors on the top. The peat notes of Highland Park to me are always musty peat, right? Like a wet fire or I get, like a wet campfire. Yeah, I get that. And also kind of mixed with the mossiness. Yeah. Like a mossy, it's, it's, uh, not like Ard, Ardbeg, Lefroy, Lagavulin levels no, of peat. No, it's not briny. Yeah, it's not heavy. It's, it's not salty. And it's not the dominant note either. It's there. You can pick it out. But it also, there's room for the sweeter things to be more obvious with the other Isla, uh, or with those Isla options we just listed. I'm like the big brands, a lot of times you have to really go back to it and explore it before you start to finally pull back this big heavy curtain of smoke before you start picking out the sweeter flavors. Not so with this. You can still get the peat. But you also get a lot of the other um, sweeter things that are very present and easily found. I'm almost getting like a lemon scones with jam. And then that pizza. Oh, that's a little scony. I got the scones. Oh, there is some. Oh, it's really well balanced. For that proof? Yeah. Wow. I'm a huge fan of that experience. The first, the first thing that hits me, though, is the peat. But then that pretty quickly unfolds into, yeah, like this sweeter, jammier. Mmm. Mm, that's good. Almost like a roasted pear. It's like a roasted pear on the end. You never had like a pear cooked on like a campfire? It's like a little chard on the edges? I have not ever had a pear other than off of a tree one time, didn't like it, and never went back. There's a lot of different pears, man. No. You may be, you are 12. I don't like it. It's gross. It's <laughs> I don't want pears. They taste weird. They're kind of grainy. <laughs> That's cooties. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to compare it just generically to the Highland Park 12. Sure. Specifically their Viking Honor one. Much lower proof on that, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. What is that going to be? Well, probably 40. Let's see. Or 46. 43. Mm. No. Yeah. Just the nose. I mean. Just as a directionality. There's just so much big chungus of flavor on that. <laughs> What? It's not gross. Does it sound gross? It does. What do you think Big Chungus is? I don't even want to know. It sounds like weenus in that category of like, sounds terrible, but it's actually harmless. Everybody has a weenus. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just like so... It's like a kid's book. Everybody has <laughs> yeah, a weenus. Everybody <laughs> has <laughs> a weenus. <laughs> Two weenuses. It's so watered down. Oh, yeah. it's two weenuses. That's true. Good freak show. That's science. <laughs> you circus act. <laughs> yeah. I've got the a, man with two weenuses. I've got a, I've got a third weenus. I want to even show and you. Everybody's like, oh my God, what? That sounds, wow, oh, sounds two weenuses. messed up, man. And he walks into the tent. He's like, there they are. <laughs> You've all got them. 
Like, oh man. It's for the after hours show. You just yeah. gets really nasty I want my, with <laughs> I want my money back. You're welcome, Highland Park. This is for all this this is for all this dolphin and eagle and bear releases. Right. <laughs> Sons of weenuses. <laughs> Oh man, this is so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Damn. I think it's right now. It's an unfair A B it because is. this is such a big, heavy proof. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to pick out nearly as much as I normally would out of the regular Highland Park. This might be my favorite Highland Park I've ever tasted. I think so. You gotta be buckled in for the high proof though. Yeah, but but, <clears throat> but the flavors to balance that, <laughs> that many layers at that high of a volume, it does give you a nice little journey. This is a Highland Park that could stand up to Texas whiskeys, mm -hmm. like toe to toe. You know what I mean? Like neck and neck, wait, was that the 12? No, this is, oh, did you re-pour yeah, the? Okay. Re yeah, I re-pour it. Okay, so this is- A little, little blend. Yeah, try yeah. the blend now, I guess. Yeah. You know, a lot of those Balconas and Andalusia and you know, Garrison have these like, Oh, heavy, high proof, and rich, and what? Yeah. This is one that could flavor-wise and depth of oil-wise just really stand up to the. This just comparison. dominates the blend. The blend is just. Of course it is. Yeah, there's nothing really magical mm. happens. That just takes over. I'm gonna add a da dash of water while you check out the comments. Oh, and then I got a little bit of a, uh, almost like prunes, and raisin, like mm -hmm. that rainy, raisiny, pruny thing. Going yeah. back to the nose on the super high proof. What's it called again? Kirkwall. Yeah. Which is where they are. Okay. Okay. McAllen fine and rare. All right. We got Rex and the mash bill question. Here it is again. It's a scotch single malt, malted barley with more malted barley. This is like the fourth time in a video right. that I've said this is a single malt. And you said, oh, what's the mash bill on this? Uh -huh. Like a few <laughs> seconds later. Like I understand that. <laughs> you also understand. <laughs> You have to meet people where they are, <laughs> and people watching the show. This no, no, God, no you don't no. think I understand no, that single malt no, is made no. from <laughs> barley? No, no, no. I don't think you do. All right, all right. <laughs> Wait, I, I followed no, it up no, with something no. for you. Hold on, as a gift. Hold on, because <laughs> YouTubers, they're just creators in general. Yeah. They get really far down a path, and it's the curse of knowledge, mm -hmm. and they become more and more no. inaccessible because you're talking at a level that most like new people can't get to. God damn it! <laughs> I think it's far more likely you're just not listening <laughs> to like what we're drinking. Like you're literally in another world and just sipping on whiskey no, and nodding. No, like I, I can see that could very often happen. Yeah. But I know for a fact, I understand what you said, <laughs> but I'm asking the questions that I know the answer to for the benefit of people who don't know the answer. I love how worked up you're getting right now. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you follow it up with a Jimmy Leg comment? Oh, well, just read it. Just read it. All of the weenuses. <laughs> weenuses, as far as the eye can see. Rex, my friend, that is a beautiful descriptor. I'm already suspicious. Well. Don't be. Just read. A forest fire, 100 miles away, that's been carried by the wind. It's just fantastic. Mm -hmm. I know I give you a minor amount of crap, but that's <laughs> really good. But you gaslighting me? No. He was legitimately loving that nose comparison. So I'm in a very awkward, awkward moment, Daniel. Here's what's happening. Because mm -hmm. I have presented Jimmy Leg publicly mm -hmm. with the name of Jimmy Third Leg. Because yeah. he's such a dick. <laughs> but if I take away the third leg, I think that's a moniker that some would aspire to achieve. Mm. The Jimmy third leg. Should I retract the third leg? <laughs> or leave it or leave it to him? Can you even do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes a strategic, precise positioning of the weenus. Oh. Fair enough. To attract, to retract the third leg. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy Leg. Every once in a while, I can trot out something good, even if I apparently forget what single malt scotch is. Yeah. With a little dash of water, yeah. this doubles down on the sweetness and doubles down on the pepper at the exact same time. It's really weird. Did you do mine? Well, yours is a blend, so we no, need to start No, this one isn't. Oh, that's right. No, you do need to start me another. You do need to start me another. No, no, no. <laughs> You're so honest there. You... <laughs> okay. That's not it. This one. Boop. Okay. Yeah. We'll swirl it around just a dash and then take a sip. You're going to agitate it? No. <laughs> <That's> a... 
Yeah, it does. It both explodes the sweetness into deep fruit, yep. and it also explodes the pepper. The butterscotch at this point is all bit gone for me. Mm -hmm. The dark fruits show up in spades, and then the, uh, the, the, the pepperiness. Yeah. For sure. It's, it's beautiful. It's damn good whiskey. Yeah. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Fight me a fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your lover's weenus. It's your lion. Uh. Let's drink whiskey. And if you <laughs> I'm telling you the line. And if you drink, may you drink with us. <laughs>